Welcome back. This is the second video in a two-part uh, video series about parallel lines. In the first video, we created this uh, parallel lines regression output. The data again represents uh, data from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, magazine had different uh, values listed for apartments in the area. I decided to look at two locations in, in the city, south side and west side. We have size of the apartment in square footage and rent in uh, monthly rent in dollars. So in order to make the graph, the parallel lines, uh, fitted lines graph, I'm going to have to take this data and split it into two parts. So I'll take only the south side apartments first. Copy that out. Now let's paste it right here. And then I'll take the west side apartment data, copy that out, we'll paste that right here. Okay, now I know this first, uh, this middle row right there, I don't need to have that. I know that this data represents south. I'm going to create a new column, rent hat. <clears throat> These will be the fitted values for the south side apartments. Let's name this south. These three columns represent south side points. Um, and then let's copy these headings over for the west side values. And then just change the name of south to west. Okay, I'll shrink these columns a little bit just so they're not taking up so much space. And uh, the next thing I need to do is create the fitted values for the south side apartments. Now I could just type in the coefficients into an equation right there and grab this x value, but I could also grab the actual coefficients from the output and then I won't have any rounding error. So I say equal intercept plus the slope times x. I don't incorporate this coefficient because that only pertains to west. I'm going to copy this formula down. I need to lock in cell H19 and H20, but not the cell references in column R. Double click the lower right hand corner and it gets copied over. Let's copy this formula. Uh, <laughs> what did I do? Sorry. Uh, these values right there are actually the actual rent values and then for the fitted values I copied the formula over but I just need to modify it by adding in the intercept shift and uh, lock that cell into place and we're ready to go. Copy the formula now, uh, to start the graph, uh, make a scatter plot out of the x, y, and y hat data. It's actually two series in one. Here's my graph, only for the south side points. Series one are the actual values, and series two represent the fitted values. Let's, let's uh, right click uh, anywhere in the graph, select data, we'll rename series one call that south. You could also rename series 2 to south, uh, you know, rent hat or something, but I don't, uh, I won't do that. Instead, let's add the new series for west side actual values. Let's call this west. The x values are the square footage values. The y values are the actual rent values. That's okay. Let's add one more series. This, this series will be rent hat for the west side apartments, but I won't name it. Let's get the same x values as before. But the y values now are actually the y hat or rent hat values. Press OK and press OK. Here we go. Here's our scatter plot. You can barely see that there are two lines drawn in there, and they are parallel to each other. 
Okay, I will get rid of the Series 2 name. Click on it once, click on it again, hit the Delete key. Series 4, click on it once, click on it again, hit the Delete key. I can tell by looking at the graph which line will correspond to which. Let's clean this up a little bit more. Click on the grid lines once, Delete. Let's rescale. Right click on the X axis, Format axis. Um, let's go from 300 to 1600 by increments of 300. For the Y axis, right click, Format. Let's go 400 to 1400 by increments of 200. You have uh, axis titles, layout, axis titles, horizontal. We have square footage and uh, the Y vertical rotated. This is rent in dollars. Okay, now to save a little time here, I'll squeeze this graph. Or, yeah, let's let's uh, make it so that the Y axis is about the same length as the X axis. I'll add a border in the inside, format plot area, border, solid, gray, get rid of the outside border, right click, format, border, no line, okay. Now typically I would, uh, you know, make circles out of my points, but to save some time here, let's just modify the fitted lines. Uh, I'll right click on the west side fitted lines, which I know is the taller, the the higher up line because it had a shift in the intercept $61.33 above the south side intercept. So I right click on those points, let's say format data series, marker options, none, I'm sorry, none. Let's make a line out of it though, a solid uh, gray line is okay. Um, style, let's make it uh, thinner. Okay, let's do the South side points, right click on their fitted values, format, marker options, none, line color, let's make a solid uh, black line here. Okay, now we could also add a title, we could also add insert a text box, box and actually type in the regression equations for each one of these equations. But for now, uh, this is the parallel lines, fitted lines plot.